Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu. In fact, it's currently roughly 10.55 here, meaning five minutes to four in New York. Equities markets are just getting ready to close and they're closing under some pressure today, actually trading on a new low on the day. Market was a few points higher throughout the trading day about mid-session. It did start to trade lower. It is currently trading off about 62 points and this is the approximate area that I think we will see settlement at 16,390. You can see that it's still active and printing, putting it down 62 to 63 points on the day. We are looking at the lows as we get these lower prints, high 16,511. So you can see that there was a rally underway of course, when we look at the standard and pours, we can see that it absolutely ran into some real resistance in the marketplace. And that's what I was looking at yesterday, if you recall from yesterday's show, was the fact that we were so close to this 1938 area right in here, which I have deemed to be a level of resistance. You can see how close the intraday high came to that point that I felt that this was not, certainly not the time to enter in. The time would have been down in this area a few days ago. Of course, once this market was at these lows and the fact that it had made new lows, I was a little hesitant. I guess the better word for it would be cautious about initiating a long position. I'd much rather buy a defined breakout after we clear a certain area than go into this market uh, prematurely, so to speak. But we also pointed out the fact that the one thing that we can see is this defined W in the market from our last move down. I call this the August meltdown, of course, August of 2015. And we certainly can make a case again for that particular pattern. So the key is, is will we see a recovery tomorrow? Will we see price action move over 1938? Because if we do, traders, to me, that's a real signal that we could enter the market from the long side. Initial target on that trade would be uh, 2004. So there's absolutely no doubt crude oil has been a dominant influence in the equities markets. And today, interestingly enough, we are trading still above 30, managed to hold those gains. Now, it is trading off a percent on the day, but traders, as you know, a percent move in oil is timid, is very, very lukewarm, to say the least, in terms of the kind of volatility we have seen in this market. My sense is that we could form a bottom after hitting those lows of 26. Let's pull up a, a longer term chart to take a look at it. But after hitting these lows at around a 26 and popping off, because in my eyes, in terms of a technical area, because as far as fundamentals are concerned, and they do change day by day as different speculation and, and announcements by different OPEC, member OPEC nations come out. But on a technical basis, when you look at this area, this of course being back in 2002 and 2003, in essence, we see a protracted period of time, really from what, about the first quarter of 2002, all the way into the first quarter of 2003, in which we had numerous times in which this particular price point, $26 a barrel, was tested and held. It held very strongly here, it held strongly here, it held strongly here, and of course then, what about the mid to the uh, third quarter of 2003, we actually saw this market take off, meander around, but of course it was 2007, when we saw the market, which was trading at a benchmark price of about $50 a barrel. This is 48 right in here, but just about $50 a barrel went from 50 to almost 150 a barrel, $100 rise. When you consider that that $100 rise came in in one year, about a year and a half. So we've never seen a move like that now. We've never seen a move since. So whether or not the market will hold this particular area on a technical basis, it is sound. However, on a fundamental basis, I think we could still see further weakness in crude oil pricing. And traders, lastly, I do want to look at the dollar. Dollar up, but in essence, in my opinion, unchanged 0.11%, 96.89. 
when we take a look at a couple of different charts that we use to plot different areas of support and resistance, this of course being our euro on the bottom, dollar on the top, we really don't have any real strong resistance in the market, I believe till about 98, that's this 38% retracement level at 98, and it's the retracement from the move from about 93.86 up to 100, 0.47 and so we have different areas that we want to look at and I believe that support is still sitting around 96.35 and we have the market trading at 96.89 so we are just slightly above current support in the market of course the big mover today was gold our trending market subscribers are also subscribers to the gold forecast so I feel good about the fact that we were able to get out just a couple of days ago at 29 get back in yesterday at 1208 assuming this trade continues to work in our favor but the one thing we can say is it's off to an awesome start take a look at the standard and pours tomorrow it's really important that it breaks above the particular area that we talked about of course and that area once again is really this 1938 we have the market trading at about 1914 down about nine points on the day so in terms of critical support in the area 1900 resistance 1938 this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading we'll talk to you tomorrow and do the weekly wrap-up and review these various exciting markets bye-bye